We are continuing the entry of Bet Knesset. He says, the Kodesh she connects the Bet Knesset to the Torah You have to ask permission. Pasuk, if you go into the shul, you see there's a little sign. It says, you bow as you enter the sanctuary and you say, the Pasuk, Ani Barob Hasdecha, I'm coming with your great kindness to come to your house to pray, to the house of Hashem. Therefore, Lahabdil, 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 like when you go and do karate, right? You have to, when you enter the dojo, right? You have to be in a certain mentality and you have to like completely change your, your frame of mind. How much more so by the house of Hashem, you got to be respectful and you have to act accordingly and you have to bow and sort of psych yourself up to be in that frame of mind where you act appropriately. You do not schmooze in the shul, you do not make jokes, no levity, no no using your phone and being distracted. Rather, you come in here to speak to Hashem. He says, You have to stand a little bit by the door before you come in. It's as if you go, you come into the house of the king. You don't just walk in there, stroll in there however you want. But you have to... Hashem is lofty, it's great and mighty. He told Rishut, you have to ask like a permission to come in in order to be in the shul and you have to have that frame of mind. You can't just waltz in there and just show up how you are. You have to have in mind that you're coming to the house of Hashem. He says, First has to come, he's in front of the king, he has to be nervous, he has to be... Uh, thinking properly he has to be uh, 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 having in mind I shouldn't come to do anything wrong in the rope has they should have this in mind and he says therefore how much more so a person to be careful not to do bad things in the shul for example to talk mundane matters even when it's not prayer in the shul in general to talk mundane matters is not allowed he says the Zohar says in Parashat Roma the person who speaks in shul amru amru he goes and he makes detriment to the Shekhinah. Velet le hulka belakad Israel. He has no portion in the God of Israel. The one who speaks in Shul Sihat Hulin. The one who speaks in Shul. Oh, he comes to Shul Shabbat. He makes the Shul, God forbid, social club. Chota. Right? He comes to sit down. He says, how are you? You saw Rolex. Rolex still going down. Chabudit, what's going to be? Right? He says, oh, you saw they raided uh, Trump's house. What's going to be? Oh, you saw this, this. Current events. They speak about all the current events. And what? And that's what they see each other once a week on Shabbat. And that's what they utilize. Oh, I didn't see my friend. Let's go schmooze with my friend. During the selling. During the between Aliyot. During during the down. During Hazrat Hashaz. These are all Asur Gamur. And the Zohar says, on such a person, if he's doing it on purpose and he knows what he's doing, it is on the level of he loses his portion in the God of Israel, says the Zohar. So a person is very, very strict not to speak mundane matters. If you imagine, you are in an uh, operating room, right? And you, the, the people need to concentrate. The doctor needs to concentrate. And it's a matter of life and death over here, right? So you go and you distract him and you're talking and you're, you're bothering his concentration. You, you think he's a bad guy, right? So these people are praying for their for their parnasa. People are praying for their life and their death. Their lives on the line. Hashem is giving out blessings. He's giving out everything, and the, you all have to be on the the you know most proper proper mentality and proper uh, way of asking. And when your person is speaking, he's not just hurting himself. He's hurting the whole entire shul because the tefillot oh, are going to be affected. So therefore, a person has to make sure. He says, "Timsal shatanosh." People's hairs should stand up when they hear these things, and therefore you have to make sure you're not. Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy that they shush. He says, he says, in smachot, especially when you have brit milah or you have a, a bar mitzvah, shabbat hatan, all these things. People think it's okay to talk, and therefore a person has to make sure that also kol misha yesh beyadolim hot. If if they have the ability to protest people and say, my friend. We speak to Hashem here, my dear friend. Let's not talk, please. If you're able to do that, matov manayim, very good. If not, if they're not gonna listen to you, there's no mitzvah to say anything. So therefore, a person has to make sure not to do averod in the shul. He has to bring zuchut to himself. And Hashem, Hashem will hear all our.